What's good guys, I'm John the Chief, and for this video, it's going to be on an easy way to farm Scorch Beast kills within Fallout 76. This could be done at a low level, there's just a few things you're going to want to do first, which I'll explain in the video, and also, make sure to like the video, because it really does mean a lot to me, it really helps me out a lot, and subscribe to the channel for more Fallout 76 videos on things such as getting weapons like this that I know you guys are going to love. Anyways, let's get right on into it. Now, Scorch Beast are the new big bad of Fallout. It used to be Death Claws and it became Myrlord Queens, but now in this game, it's Scorch Beast. Scorch Beast are supposed to be the tough enemy that you want to go. It's basically like a reskinned dragon from Skyrim. I know that's kind of mean saying that, but it's a really tough enemy and it's actually really hard to kill, and you'll be encountering them throughout a big portion of the game because they are flooding the east side of the map and that is where you're gonna be for a lot of time when you're past like level 20 and 30 and these guys are always level 50 so they're gonna be really tough to deal with and also there's a quest line where you're gonna need to kill at least 10 of them I believe in order to finish it and that is gonna be really hard you need to get 10 confirmed scorch beast kills for this quest line and if you want an easy way to kill them here is the guide for us because I'm telling you right now this is a easy way to get high level loot farm scorch beast with a low level you don't need much to do this so first things first what i like to do is that i like to get the charleston landfill i want to capture this workshop this is one of my favorite workshops because you're going to need a lot of junk now the charleston landfill has three areas for you to farm junk from so next session that you start up in fallout 76 i want you to go over there just uh set up all the junk resources so that way you can get as many materials as possible because you're going to need a lot of materials in order to do this so Make sure you go to Charleston Landfill, set up the resource farmers, and then just keep collecting these resources. Next, you're going to need to find a fisher site and an army base. I like to go to this location right here because I can put my camp right between the fisher site and the army base. Now this is very important because this is where you're going to be farming this. So you want to build up this base. All right? The camp you're gonna be using turrets. You're gonna build a bunch of turrets there because they actually destroy the Scorch Beast if you have enough turrets. They do so much damage to them. Here, look at this clip right here. All I did was just build a ton of Scorch Beasts. I think I wasn't even level 20 yet in this clip. And oh my god, these machine gun turrets just completely destroy the Scorch Beast. So that's what you gotta do. You're gonna build as many turrets as possible. I like to build it a little bit higher up so that way it gets a better viewpoint and also that way a lot of the enemies on the ground don't come to harass the base as much. So that's what I like to do. It's your choice though on how you set it up. Then, as soon as you get it up, I also recommend getting home defense perks if you like it so that way you can get the stronger types of turrets, you know, more damage the more better. You want to be able to do as much damage to the Scorch Beast through means that aren't your actual weapons because that is how you're going to kill it. These things are automated, they'll be doing most of the damage for you. Next, you're going to want to repair the automated surface to air missiles. These are going to be the big source of your damage. And this is why you're farming the Charleston landfill for junk. You're going to have to keep getting a lot of materials because you're constantly going to be rebuilding your turrets, rebuilding those automated surface to air missiles in order to actually hurt the Scorch Beast. These are going to be the big source of your damage between these two, which they consume a lot of stuff. I keep running out of gears the entire time. So I ended up actually, I believe, farming the death claws for it because i i find it like every single time i kill a death claw they give me like seven gears for some reason so i've been doing that personally you find out what materials that you guys are lacking on when you're doing this strategy but it's always been gears for me i have no idea why anyways so what you're gonna need to do is that you're gonna need to keep getting these rebuilt and they will actually be doing everything for you they're gonna take the aggro of the scorch beast they're gonna be destroying it taking out all its damage and then all you have to do is make sure you do just a little bit of damage towards the scorch beast get a couple of hit markers when it's close to dying so that way you get credit for the kill it doesn't even matter who gets the finishing blow on the scorch beast as long as you're damaging it 
even if it's just like one damage, you're gonna get credit for the kill. So you're gonna get that huge amount of XP for killing it, and then you're gonna have access to all the loot for killing it, which is the big part. That's why you're killing the Scorch Beast, guys. You're trying to get the loot, you're trying to get, trying to get credit for the kill, you want whatever the Scorch Beast dropping, so you wanna be damaging it just a little bit so you get the credit. Then, what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna go over to the Fisher site and usually there's gonna be dead bodies. At this one that I go to, there are dead mega slots and they have such good loot. I got some really nice armors off of it that were like level 50. So that way now, when I hit level 50, I'm gonna have some really nice armor for me as soon as I get there. And it's gonna be really helpful. Or I could just dismantle it and turn it into actual uh, materials for my current armor. But at least I have that option, guys. So that's what you wanna do. Another thing for this strategy, before you begin the actual thing, when you go back, so you have the camp set up, you have the air, air missile launchers repaired, I, when you come back, because the Scorch Beast actually does respawn every like 10 to 20 minutes, you can just go back, make sure you clear out the base first. The army base will have a really tough level enemy. It's going to be high level. It's going to usually be scaled to you. That's what I found out. When I started leveling up, it started getting higher and higher too. And now it's like level 50 for me. So make sure you kill that guy first because those enemies at the army base are going to destroy your air, uh, your automated air, I mean surface to air missiles and also your base. So you want to make sure you clear it out a little bit first so that way it's safe. So that way everything can be targeting the Scorch Beast. And also, you might want to have some power armor. Power armor allowed me to survive a lot more hits from this than I normally would have without. So make sure you do those two things before you start off because it makes it a lot easier. If you try to actually kill the Scorch Beast without clearing the army base first, what's going to end up happening is that the enemies are just going to keep destroying your uh, surface to air missiles. and you won't be able to do much. You're going to have to waste even more junk in order to actually repair them continuously. So make sure you do that. And then that is all. You just go loot and then you go do what you normally do throughout the wasteland. And then you just keep repeating the process in order to get as many Scorch Beast kills as you need. And that's basically it. Just one final piece of advice though for doing this because I've been doing this for quite a bit now. You do not want to waste too many healing items while doing this. You're going to die a lot, and that's the whole entire point of having your camp there. Even if you can't respawn on your camp, you can respawn at Vault 76, and you have the free fast travel to the camp. That is one of the biggest reasons why we build the camp here, is so that way we have quick access for free to the spot. You can actually get by without doing that, but if you're planning on farming a lot of Scorch Beasts and you really like the loot, you're going to spend a lot of caps just traveling back and forth, back and forth. With the camp here, it's a free fast travel every single time, which makes it a lot easier. All right? That's it for the video, guys. Hope all of you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed it. It really means a lot to me. Stay tuned for more Fallout 76, guys, and see ya!